Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be draining the transmission and also the engine out of the oil. And then we're gonna go ahead and start pulling the exhaust system all the way to the back. Just go ahead and remove it, get it out of the way. Um, I wanted to show you guys that I noticed this wire that's right here, it goes across. It looks like it's for the headlight and this wire is actually feeding the other wire on this side, the other pigtail, for some reason. I have no clue why they did this, but they did. So I'm gonna probably have to trim this right here because I'm planning on pulling all these wires out and away from the engine compartment, from the engine bay. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling stuff out. I didn't record this, but after I drained the oil, I went ahead and I started working on the suspension on this side and i got everything completely off i got this guy completely off i got the axle just laying over here i got the brakes in there and also the rotor okay, i'm gonna go ahead and remove the exhaust right now to remove the exhaust i went ahead and i sprayed wd-40 on all the hangers there's one here one by the control arm and then one all the way in the back i went ahead and i sprayed them and now I'm going to use my jack to raise up the exhaust system just a little bit where it gives me enough slack for me to slide this hanger completely off. You guys can see that it's moving right now. That means I could probably get to the top one. Let me raise it up a pinch more. I'm going to have to put the camera down. Let me see. And there it is. Completely removed this one. Now I'm going to go to the back and remove the one by the control arm and the one in the rear. I forgot to spray one more. So there you go. So now I'm going to raise it up. I did put some bricks on here to try to make this a little bit more reachable this one came off super easy but I'm kind of struggling on this one on this side so I'm gonna go ahead and see what I could if I could try to wiggle it off I know it's kind of dark so I'm not gonna record this I lowered the jack and the whole thing completely came off very easily. Um, the rubber piece did stay behind. I'm not gonna cut it or anything. It's kind of hard to slip it off, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. Cause this exhaust is actually in really good shape. So I might just reuse it 
and it's got no catalytic converter or anything it's pretty much a straight pipe the whole thing so I might end up reusing this instead of of uh, going out the hood doing a hood exit I might just reuse this and turn this sort of into a sleeper so exhaust system is completely out and now we are ready to proceed um, let me know in the comments below if you guys would want me to run an exhaust system or you guys would just want me to go out the hood with the hood exit for the turbo let me know it would be more of a sleeper if we went with the full exhaust we are under the car right now we're gonna go ahead and remove the shift linkage so you guys can see i already went ahead and i sprayed it i used some liquid wet wrench penetrating oil it's right here let me fix the camera a little bit and what we're gonna do is release these two bolts that are right here they are number 12 12 millimeter I'm gonna go ahead and loosen them up a little bit. It's stuck. All right, we're gonna loosen up the other one. Now that I got it loose, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this one. The other one. That's pretty much it. Oh, look at this, what we have here. For some reason, these pieces always tend to like rust out. I don't know why, but it always rusts this out really, really bad. The rust is just incredible on that piece. There it is. I got everything pretty much covered. The only thing left to do is to drain the power steering fluid. And I believe I'm ready to start releasing the motor mounts. And this engine should go straight to the ground. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot one very important part. I still gotta take the suspension off on this side. <laughs> I think I'm just a little bit tired right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little break, eat something, eat a sandwich for lunch, and I'll continue with this in a few minutes. Engine is pretty much ready to come out. I got the rest of the suspension off. I went ahead and I loosened up all the bolts to the transmission now because of the fact that I'm gonna be using this transmission instead of the one that's in there because this one's longer gears and I want the longer gears so I could be longer in boost. Um, I did go ahead and loosen up all the motor mounts all around and I went ahead and I put this piece of uh, wood down here so it can help me uh, slide the engine out. And I am gonna go ahead and put this sheet also under there. That way, once the engine drops onto this sheet, I could just grab the sheet and slowly pull it out from underneath the car. So since now we are ready to drop the engine, I'm going to go ahead and lower the whole front end all the way down to the floor. 
I just lowered the driver's side and it looks very sketchy. Now I'm gonna go ahead to the other side. I'm gonna lower the passenger side. I got the car into position exactly where I wanted. I got the jack right in the middle. And right now I'm starting to work on the back motor mount. There are two bolts. I'm gonna show you from back here. This one I already removed, and then this one right here. And then there's one more on the top that I'm gonna have to remove. Here's the other one, it's right here, right there. I did drop my camera and the tripod broke on me, so I'm going to have to get myself another one. Alright, this is getting pretty close, I'm going to go and check my my jack and make sure that my jack is exactly where I want it. I have the jack kind of on the transmission on this back part right here. Um, I'm supporting maybe where the shift linkage starts around there, somewhere around this area. I did crank it as soon as it touched. I cranked it a little bit so it did pick up the engine a little bit and that's going to allow me to slip this bolt completely off without the engine falling all crazy. I did take off the wire harness completely. I pulled it out from the inside and I took the battery tray and I've been taking out a lot of things because I'm gonna go ahead and we are gonna paint this whole engine compartment before the new engine goes in. There it is, this bolt is completely off. That back motor mount is completely loose. So now I'm gonna go ahead, lower my jack, my floor jack and I'm gonna place it on this side of the transmission so I could take care of this side now. So I repositioned my floor jack on this side now of the transmission and look how loose this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just release this guy right here. Release this guy and wrong size <laughs> all right take it completely off This is a bad part about these backyard mechanics that you don't have the right tools and you gotta do stuff different ways like me dropping this engine and pulling it from the bottom completely off now we're gonna go ahead and lower this all the way this thing went almost all the way to the bottom to the floor I did take off with the floor jack I slid it over I'm right in the middle right underneath the oil pan and the only thing holding this engine now is pretty much these two guys right here which I'm gonna release right now okay 
kind of nervous about this last bolt right here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I lower the jack a little, what it's gonna do. Last bolt is completely off. And there is nothing holding this engine. The only thing really that's holding it is the floor jack, which I'm gonna lower all the way to the floor now. I lowered the jack and I slid it off. And this is kind of what it looks like now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack up the whole front end of the car now, the frame as high as I can and lower the back as low as I can. And that way I have enough clearance to slide this guy out on an angle. I got the whole car on the side. I lifted it up on this whole side and engine, transmission, and shift linkage is all coming out as one piece. And all I'm doing is really just sliding it out with this rope. And there you go, the engine's completely out. The whole thing and now we can start clean up of the engine bay. Cleaning up, eliminating, scuffing, prepping, getting it ready for paint. Which is something I'm very excited about. I got the whole side down and i'm just gonna start cleaning up right now so i think this is gonna be the end of the video and i'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys on a time lapse and just watch me clean i guess pick up and i'll catch you guys on my next one after this so peace out stay safe catch you guys later